Bears and Barnes, you listen to Three Point Conversion. Miller. I'm all right, thank you. Uh, we will go ahead and begin with the first question from Sarah. Hey, Nate, um, just kind of from the end of the third quarter, I know Milton hits that big three and then going into the fourth quarter, um, just what were the biggest things that tripped you guys up kind of in the in the fourth? Uh, whenever we got close, uh, we just we turned the ball all over or we either gave up, uh, you know, a, a basket. Uh, we didn't really do a good job of uh, controlling or establishing uh, our defense all night long. You know, it really started in the the first quarter, uh, 24 points in the paint in the first quarter. Uh, you know, we uh, have a ton of turnovers. We, you know, finished the game with 19 turnovers, uh, 18 turnovers. And, you know, those are two things that we, we talked about uh, we couldn't do is turn the ball over, allow them to get out into transition. And uh, that's pretty much what they did. Chris Kirshner. Hey, Nate, what have you thought of the job Clint has done guarding Embiid so far through two games? Well, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a problem down in the post. Uh, you know, we're trying to uh, mix up our defense with him. Uh, I, you know, I think at times he's getting too deep. Uh, you know, our double teams uh, are not getting there uh, uh, quick enough. Uh, and, you know, he's pretty much, you know, taking advantage of the deep coverage, I mean, so the deep post up, getting to the free throw line of scoring. So uh, we, we, we got to uh, clean that up, get better. Uh, really, uh, he, he pretty much has had his way uh, in the first two games down on the block. When the Sixers wings have games like they did tonight, is this one of those matchups where you guys miss someone like DeAndre and Cam to be those perimeter defenders that you need out there? Oh, we absolutely miss him, uh, you know, but we, we were able to play and do some good things in game one without him, you know, so again, you know, it's just a part of uh, the game, these injuries, uh, you know, we certainly uh, are a better ball club when he's out on the floor uh, with us because he just does so many things. He's not only can he defend uh, multiple positions, uh, but, you know, he can also, uh, he's an option on the offensive end of the floor. Zach Klein. Coach, did, were there any major um, differences between the way Philly approached game one and game two, or was just a combination of the shooting flipped from the series opener tonight where they were hot and you guys were cool as the, the difference in 180 in game one? I think that was part of it, Zach. Uh, I thought we settled early. I thought we took some quick shots in that first quarter. Uh, and, you know, those are the things that we didn't want to do. When, when, whenever you're playing against a really good defensive team like uh, Philadelphia, uh, uh, New York, uh, you can't, you, you can't, they defend your first and your second option. What I mean by that, if you're coming down and you're not passing the ball and you're just jacking shots or you're coming down, you're making one pass and a shot, they're going to defend that. We got to get to our third and our fourth options make them defend, get them moving from side to side. I thought we settled and took some quick contested shots early. Uh, a lot of those shots, um, along with the turnovers, they turned into transition points and was able to uh, get out and get some easy baskets and attack our paint in that, uh, that first quarter, really the first half. Yes, go. Nate, this is the same uh, situation you guys faced in the New York series. You came home 1-1 after, after losing in game two. People were wondering how you guys were going to adjust. With, with what you were able to do in that series, uh, how much confidence does it give uh, you guys, give the team coming back home 1-1? Well, I, I just said that uh, to the team. You know, whenever you can split uh, in the playoffs and certainly split on the road, uh, that's a good thing. You know, we would have liked to uh, have uh, gotten both games, but we was able to get one. It's ver very similar to the series uh, uh, against New York. Now we go home and we have to go home and defend home court. So, uh, I, I, you know, I like where we are. 
Uh, we know we got to play much better, and I, I feel we will play better at home. Steve Hummer. And they, uh, given the need to try to make Embiid's uh, life a little harder getting down low, how do you do that with a man that size and, and who – has such a variety of physical skills. You know, there are some things that we we talked about we needed to do. I didn't think that we did that uh, tonight. Uh, you know, we'll show film again. Uh, you know, there are, some, there are some things that we can do better uh, because tonight he basically just went down to his spot and, uh, you know, got deep post position. And we got to do a better job of, uh, you know, fighting early to deny his catch as well as allowing him to get deep post position. So uh, we'll make some adjustments to uh, how we're defending him. Uh, some of the things that we are, are doing to uh, try to guard him. But I thought tonight, uh, just we was resisting and pretty much allowing him to uh, basically just walk down to the post and set up. And defending the fadeaway uh, that he has, how can anybody <laughs> defend that? I mean, uh, you, you, those are the shots you want to force him to take. Yeah, he's very capable of making them. Uh, but you know, those are the shots you want to force him to uh, to take contested fadeaway jump shots. I think if you are if he's taking those shots, uh, the only other thing that you can do is double team to get the ball out of his hands. You know, so uh, you know we we want to try to force him into contested uh, fadeaway jump shots. Thank you. Davide. Hey, Coach. Uh, what did you like the most about your team tonight? Um, I mean, we. I thought we fought back. I thought we, you know, we got down early and uh, fought our way back into the game twice. Uh, was able uh, to take the lead and uh, you know get back into the game and just we just didn't have enough to to continue to. Uh, play with that momentum, but uh, I didn't think that uh, we gave up. Uh, I thought we continued to fight. Uh, we started to uh, do some good things and I thought we started to get to our tempo, but uh, we just didn't have enough uh, stops and we didn't do a good job of taking care of the ball to uh, continue with the momentum and win this game. Sarah? Hey, Nate, what did you see out of Trey tonight? And what stood out to you about the way Philly maybe defended him differently? I, I don't think they, you know, they, uh, they started out with uh, Ben guarding him. Um, you know, Ben has size. Uh, I, I just think it's not an individual. I think as a team, uh, we just didn't establish our tempo. So, um, you know, and, and we didn't, we, we all turned the ball over. Uh, we all allow the ball to get into our paint. So, you know, Trey, uh, Trey was part of that. I also wanted to ask you what you liked about um, Kevin off the bench tonight. Well, you know, we just, we, I wanted to put another ball handler out there, another shooter out there. Um, we got off to a slow start and uh, was trying to uh, get, you know, uh, more offense as well as defense out on the floor. I thought he, you know, he, we, we uh, went to him a couple of times and I thought he did a good job of, uh, you know, making some plays, uh, putting the ball in the basket and, uh, you know, taking advantage of his matchup. Chris. I also wanted to ask about Kevin. What, what do you like specifically with him coming off the bench as opposed to him starting with the, with Trey out there in the backcourt? I like the balance he gives us coming off the bench. Zach Klein. Coach, Travis was on the Hawks flagship radio station this morning talking about DeAndre, saying he doesn't want to jeopardize long-term effects with the knee. It's a fine line between living in the moment or projecting five or 10 years down the line. Uh, is there a discussion on, you know, can he go or is this, you know, just precautionary? It seems like you know, if you can play, you can play. I mean, what's the moment of, uh, I guess, the no, question? It, it is, it, we, we're going to be cautious with him. Uh, we all, we have been, you know, since he had the surgery and uh, we're going to continue to to do that. If he feels uh, well enough after treatment to play, 
then we will put him out there. If, 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 he, if he does it, then we're going to hold him. You know, so uh, we, we, we always take that approach uh, with our guys. All right, coach, that was the final hand that's raised. So thank you very much. All right, thank you.